Welcome back to all the mods, 8 Hardcore guys. We're still alive. It's also like day 264. I did a bunch of AFKing off camera. We have a crazy amount of resources that we kind of need to do something about. Uh, I typically block this door off so no one sneaks in and kills me. Um, but yeah, we have a wandering trader over here. What's he got for sale? Oh, uh, nothing good. I did get this from one of the boss mobs. I'll show you the enchants on it in a second. It's pretty OP. Um, yeah, I think it has a, it's got sharpness 10, mending, capturing two, looting five, unbreaking three. Yeah, I bought it for 45 emeralds and a diamond pickaxe. It was pretty awesome. So I do enjoy an occasional wandering trader, but you will die. Not today. Cool beans. So yeah, not a lot other than a lot of AFK has gone on off camera. Uh, we are getting quite full on Inferium. Uh, we got a lot of Certus Quartz Essence, uh, a lot of Nether Quartz Essence, a lot of Iron Essence. So yeah, we, we probably have more than we'll ever need, but we're going for all the mods. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? That was some low hanging fruit. So yeah, got a lot of Quartz here. We can also, if we wanted to make Silicone Essence, um, but we're not going to right now. So anywho, let's get on to making some power. Oh, I also moved it over here. We got everything put in. I moved the inscribers over here. Let me show you guys back around here. Yes, yeah, so it's really ugly. So we have some solar panels here. I might end up just taking this and moving it and then moving the solar panels like up here. Um, but yeah, that's how we're looking. Um, so last last episode i told you guys that i prefer ae2 over refined storage and don't get me wrong i do really like refined storage however if we go into any mod that require or any crafting recipe that requires glass applied energistics 2 has no problem for some reason there's a bug uh with refined storage right now now i don't know if it's fixed in later versions but we are in uh one dot let's see you kind of back up 1.19.2 forge 43.2.6 and we are still having that issue i tested it in a creative world uh yeah and the stained glass or any kind of glass just really drops your frame rate in refined storage uh it happened in the season one of all the mods eight so we're not going to really mess with that this is a little bit more uh involved but if you like networking or if you feel like a network engineer or you like that applied energistics is your way to go so let's go ahead here we're going to create some seeds we need to get some fire essence because i want to go ahead and automate um some things so the things we're going to automate are glass and um glass glass and clay i won't have to go mining for them anymore I'm sorry, sand and clay. We can so to make the fire stuff. We gotta do this. Cool. There we go. And with that, to craft it, we just need the inferior essence and basic seeds. Let's see how much prosperity we got. Plenty of prosperity. Probably shouldn't have used all of our prosperity seeds, but that's fine. Okay. Let's go make some fire seeds. All right, perfect. We got fire seeds. Ouch, amazing. Now let's do some water seeds. And there we go, we got some water seeds. Very, very good. Perfect. Now we gotta make some dirt seeds. And there we go, we got some dirt seeds, perfect. So we'll put these into some botany pots and their essence will get us the goods. Um, so what we need to do actually, put the water seeds in there. Uh, we're gonna kick out with some seeds from our iron ones over here. We're gonna clear all of these out. I think we might need to put an upgrade up. 
Okay, yeah, we got way too much iron. All right, so we have over 2,000 iron now, which is great because a while ago we were really struggling to get any iron. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take this out, put dirt in, take this out, put fire in, and then we're gonna take this out, put uh, water in. Not this one. This is gonna stay Sirtis Quartz. Um, this one is gonna change. You out, you in. All right, that puts us at 3,500 iron ingots, which is a fan flipping tastic. Uh, that'll let us just make a lot more resources, and you know we have way more that we can do. But we're not gonna do that just yet. So um, we knock those out. Don't need to worry about ME drives. I'm actually gonna replace these eventually with ME drives here. Um, so these will be going straight up and then I don't know we might do some inscribers on this side I don't quite know yet, but let's get into the meat and potatoes. I want to get some flight Yeah, we were generating power here. So I want to get a jetpack going um, That's gonna require redstone a lot of iron. So let's go grab our redstone essence here Okay, yeah, we're doing good And we're gonna turn this the redstone, this is gonna give us a heck ton of redstone here. So just click spam clicking. I guess it's really not giving us that much. I mean, that's way more than we have. We have 1400 redstone now, which is amazing. So I'm gonna make some more sticks here real quick because we're gonna need those. There we go. Okay, so wooden jetpack. We're also gonna need some normal wood blocks. So we'll put those in there. Okay, so we gotta make these batteries here, which is good. Um, we're gonna make a few of these. I think we're gonna make about 21 of them. I know that that's probably enough. Oh, we shouldn't have used all of them for the wood. Jeez Louise, I am dumb. Whoops. We missing the red, the, this guy. Deep Slate Furnace, that's pretty cool. Oh, you can't use it. Okay, so that should allow us to make a second one of these, which should mean that if we have leather cutting board, we can turn these into leather. Okay, so let's make one of these. And what do we need? Shears? No, I didn't want to do that. Uses. Yeah, just some shears, okay. So we'll just, oh, not, not here, not there. Here. Do we just click it? Yes. Cool. Cool beans. Okay, so we have leather now. Awesome. So we can go ahead and make this guy. Let's make the leather strap and make the jetpack. Booyah. Okay. But we don't want to stop here. We definitely want to go up to copper. Make 12 of those. Two of these. One of these and copper jetpack. Let's go. Uses for this guy: iron, bronze, or silver. Silver's pretty good. Okay, so these are gonna require a lot of gold. Okay, so we gotta be careful. So silver jetpack. This is our new target. So let's make some of these. Okay, we needed those. Got one, and oh shoot. Okay, so we need to get some gold. Good thing is we have gold seeds. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of gold essence. Yeah, we got gold for days, guys. And booyah, silver jetpack. Now this holds 1.2 million, I believe, yes, yeah, steel. We can go to a gold jetpack. And that holds 10 million. 10 million dollars. Booyah, look at that. Gold jetpack. Now, how does this one go? To diamond or platinum? Platinum is slightly better, but I don't think we have any platinum, which is okay. And then this is used for the emerald. And then you get to creative, and there you go. So we are pretty far along here. Now, we just need a charger. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we can use the applied energistics charger if I'm not. Let's sleep real quick so our stuff can get regenerated. Hmm. Okay, we can make the charge pad. 
Huh? It's acting kind of weird. Do we have any steel? Oh, hello. No, we don't have any steel. That's probably why it's acting kind of weird. Okay, so we can make some steel. Energetic infuser. Is this still out there? Yes, I believe it is. Here you are. Make the things. Do it. All right, let's check out the quests here real fast. Leather, what do we get? We got leather. That's fine. That's all we got. Okay. So we just need two. There we go. Perfect. We have the steel. All right, so we smelt the steel. Get the silicone out of there. What is silicone essence? Silicone seeds. Oh, that's super easy. We might do that. Then we don't have to smelt up our quartz anymore. Okay, so charge pad should be good. Um, that's definitely not it. This is it. Okay, charge pad. I want to pipe this into a battery. Now check it out. So the battery we're using up above our ME system here is from Integrated Dynamics. It holds 1 million RF. And for one, <laughs> that's not gonna cut it for storage at all. Um, creative, oh my. Oh, oh, oh. Big Witch, wow, okay. Yeah, we're going to have to maybe do that some other time. Um, so yeah, block of redstone, super easy. And then we just need one of these guys. I grabbed two. We just need one. So we put this here. We do some jumpage. Then it fills up over here. And we can do some more jumpage. So now there's fluid in there. Oh, yeah. So we have these. We'll let this solidify here real fast. Real fast. What happens if you walk in there? Oh, it's already solidified. That's fine. Cool. All right. So these give us the crystallized mineral, which will allow us to make this. And what I want to do with this, put it here. Yes. So this is filling up with power. And there we go. So we just have RF. Maybe we need to upgrade the jetpack or the, the the things. It's raining, dang it. Okay. Um, maybe we need to make some better power. Oh wait, I wanna see this actually. I think this is full. Yep, that's full. These are just about full. Yep, fuel is good. I'll do that, it should start working again. Yes. Good. Let's get a furnace generator. So the thermo generator generates 20 Fe per tick. Oof, that's not really good. Oh, and we need blaze, a sterling dynamo. Maybe we can make one of these. That didn't work at all. There we go. Okay. So Sterling Dynamo, if I'm not mistaken, these produce power. Just like a furnace. Yes. But we need to rotate it. We need to make another one of those gears. Boom. There we go. Okay. So now we should... Yes, it is working. But how do we get the power out of there? Well, we're going to use a pipe. And theoretically, we can go like this. Yes. Jetpack be charging. Okay, now we can put some augments in here. So this is producing 40 RF per tick. 
Um, let's give it a drawer. Perfect. Just a one by one. I don't need two of these. Let's get a pipe. Just need one. Okay. And we're going to put the drawer here. We can put this like that and this like this. There we go. And then I'm going to grab a whole heck ton of charcoal that we've produced. And we're going to throw it all in there. Good. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So that's going to last for quite a while. Uh, we could make another one of them if we really want. Um... Okay, a little, little reconfiguration here. We can grab this guy. All right. Well, that didn't really work. Okay. We need the crescent wrench again. Okay, here we go. So this is going to pull those out of there. Going to generate some power. Cool. So that's generating a decent amount of power. This has got 400,000 RF already stored up. Now we do. Now we need to reconfigure our, that, that's the mouse, keybinds. Oh, I see it's on my old mouse. I have it, we'll turn it on. Okay, so this one, no, this is one. Nope, this is one, nope. Okay, I don't have any idea. Looks like we're just gonna have to reconfigure it ourselves. Tent throttle, very good. 80, 60. I kind of like chilling at 80. Um, if we sprint, you know, it's gonna be nice. But now we have a flight, which is amazing. Um, but the one thing I am worried about is landing. Um, hmm. Do we have boots that negate fall damage? from various hazards reduces fall damage fall let us see what we have here so bunny hoppers hmm. I don't really see anything for fall damage other than the bunny hoppers which would be really nice to get um, yeah so it looks like we're gonna have to be on the lookout for those so we don't die but other than that uh, oh well, Mystical Agriculture has an augment for these. Oh. Hmm. Tier 3. So if we make some Tier 3 boots, we might be able to negate fall damage. Okay, okay. Well, why don't we see about trying to do that real quick? Um, yeah, I think it's a good idea. All right, so we're going to need some of these Teratium boots. Um, yeah, so we're going to need some diamond stuff. And I'm going to grab quite a bit of some Inferium Essence. I'm going to put some charcoal back for now. Okay. That's... We might actually have an issue. I don't know. Yeah. We use all of our Prosperity sh Shards. Okay. Hmm. I need to go get some of those. Okay. So we got a little bit of Prosperity Shards from the nether so we can kind of start getting the process started for these guys uh and so we're gonna need this mm, that might not actually yeah that's definitely not enough we can get to the inferium one uh but nothing else really dang it okay hmm so yeah here we go we have the inferium boots Mm, yeah, and then to upgrade them, we're going to need prosperity of more shards. Hmm. Okay, I got to go mining more. Okay, so there's a really weird sounding mob over here. Oh, it's a strider spawner. Yeah, I found a zombie pigman spawner over there, too. So, yes. Crazy. We're going to have to, uh... Yeah, we're gonna make a, a gold farm easy that'll be fun but yeah i've just been cruising through here looking for prosperity shards what is this 
room block. But yeah, we got some here. Should have brought my magnet. That would have made things so much better. But yeah, this is the life. It is fun. Under here is a blaze spotter. So nothing really like scary, I guess, happened for the rest of it. So we just went ahead and didn't do that. So one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna need the diamonds. Perfect. Okay, so, um, yeah, we're not gonna make that. Cool, okay. So we should have enough now. Yep. And get rid of those two, put those in. <gasps> oh no, what have I done? Am I supposed to need? Ah, frick. <laughs> Hmm, okay. So I made one too many of those, which is uh, okay. Two, and then I need to make diamonds for this tier. All right, so we should be able to make tier three boots. Yep, there we go. All right, so that is taken care of. We can put that away. Let's take a look at this. So blue wool, two diamonds, lapis. Should be able to combine these and get this. And this is no fall damage. Okay. <clears throat> and so then we just need four of these. Four. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. And then we need what? Two diamonds. Augment in the middle. One, two. Two, three, four, and then two diamonds. Yes, we got it. Now, how do we put this on? I have no idea. Uses. I'm sure there's a way to find, or a way to look it up. Let me see if I can find it here real quick. Okay, so. Do I not take any fall damage now? Huh, okay, so I just, I just hold that. Yeah, cause it like, it shows, that's the flight, but nope, that's the flight again. No damage, no damage augment is a boot augment that negates all fall damage for the wear while they have the armor equipped. So is there like an augment holder or do you have to just have these in your inventory? Flight requires four nether stars. Health boost. So if I take the boots off. Yeah, we definitely take fall damage. Okay, put those back on. So if we go here, we still take fall damage. Okay, that's not fun. Aha, tinkering table. Okay, so we should have some solium. Yes, okay. So now we put the boots and we put augment no fall damage freak yeah so if we go here oh yes no oh that made me a little nervous no fall damage we are rocking it okay that is sweet so let's see we have a lot of stored here a lot stored here what we can do is because we're not getting that power out really fast at all Let's look at an, an upgrade. Wait, no, we need pipe. Yes, so we can make this guy, no problem. We can make this guy, no problem. Okay, we can probably make a, a, the tier above it, no problem. But yes, yeah, that's draining way faster. Good, sorry, I just punched the microphone. Jeez Louise, turtle, have you ever recorded a YouTube video before? Yo. Okay, so, yep, that's working good, but not good enough. This is Super Turtle. We like to do things the fun way. Which is mo power, baby. Right? Okay, so throw that in there. And yeah, that's draining pretty quick. These guys are still running strong. We can't put augments on here to make these guys run faster. Give us more power. Give us more power, baby. All right, so now we're at 2.4 million... Perfect. Now, when we upgrade these up to tier four, I think 
They are awesome. But I want to go ahead and make some prosperity seed. All right. And then I want to make a master infusion crystal here. We just need to make one more. We're out of diamonds. Okay. There we go. And then the master infusion crystal. There we go. So this thing does not take any durability, which is amazing. So we can take all of the essence we want and convert it, and it'll be fine. All right, so I'm doing this because I'm just gonna equip my magnet real quick and then we should grab all those items. So, that here. Yep. Perfect. So now we can take all of this, turn it into the second tier. Third tier. Fourth tier. And fifth tier. Okay, so we have quite a bit of the Supremium Essence here. So what I wanna go ahead and do is upgrade these, obviously, to the next tier. So we'll need two of these. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Individual. Okay, boom. So I'm going to take the augment out because I don't want to lose it. Did it stay there? It did. Okay. So uses, upgrade. Oh, yeah. So now we have the tier four that gives. Uh, okay. So, yeah, it only gives us one slot per item. So no fall damage. But now we have that. Might as well just upgrade it up to the, the final tier. Um, and again, I'm going to pull off the augment just to be safe because I would really like to not lose it and have to create that again. But Supremium Essence is ours, our Supremium Armor. So that is max, max tier essence. So five armor tough, three armor toughness and five plus armor, which is really cool. And yeah, no, no fall damage. Or I, I need to turn the fall. <laughs> I didn't put it back on. Jeez. Um, yeah, so we gotta take the boots off, put them here, put that on. There we go. Now, now there's no fall damage. So we can come up here like this and just fall and nothing. Perfect. Go ahead and get another pair of armor here. I wanna upgrade our pants to these guys. So, oh, we do need, again, more diamonds okay there we go so another 14 cool so i don't know if we have the ability to upgrade all of our armor um yeah i can only do this to the the second tier should we do pants or should we do a chest piece how much does this give it doesn't get it doesn't give us anything here Hmm, okay. I think we're gonna do a chest piece instead. Because right now we're only using a diamond one while we could be using something way better. And we're out of prosperity shards. Like, oh, no, we're not. I lied. Okay, let's see how far these get us. So we're gonna need two of these. Okay, so we're starting off with the Inferium one, and then we should be able to upgrade to this one, and then to this guy, perfect, okay. So we have that one already set up. Um, so let's see here, let's go ahead and make the tier four. So we're gonna need four of these, and then we're gonna need four of these. Oh. Is it you? I think it was that. Ah! Yeah, I think it's... I think it was hitting something. That was weird.
Okay, so we're we're a couple prosperity shards short. Hmm. So bees can give it to us. That's about it. So we might need to get into the bees. Where do I get you from? Ah. Okay. So bees will probably be our best, but it looks like we can just get up to tier four, which is quite a bummer, but not the end of the world. So one, two. Nah, we don't even have enough. In well, we can craft up a bunch. Okay, so uses here, tier four. Okay, yeah, that's way better than the armor we were using prior. Okay, let's see. Mechanism. What do we do for mechanism? Oh, we made the charge pad. Nice. Okay. Mystical agriculture. It's kind of funny how it doesn't give us a reward. Like, I feel like that's a pretty big deal, and it doesn't give us a reward. But Imperium, that's going to give us a lot of protection. So we are very happy about that. But all right, dudes and dudettes, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle. And today we got flight and we got no fall damage boots. So I'll see you all next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye. That made me a little nervous. <laughs>